Hello there, I'm Rosie Baylor, the coordinator of the Flex Option here at WAVA, and this is your video newsletter for January 2023. We will start with a celebration, of course, wishing you all um, the happiest of New Year's and all the best in the coming year of 2023. I also want to take a moment to offer some congratulations to our high school seniors who are starting to receive their college acceptance letters. The first one that I know of um, is student S, um, who has been accepted to DigiPen Institute. So congratulations, um, seniors. Keep that good news coming. We love to hear about the culmination of all of your hard work um, with those college acceptances. So keep us in the loop, please. All right, bouncing along to our monthly mindset for January. January's mindset is everything is possible. And of course, this is a great one for the new year as we're looking ahead to what may be coming in the future for us. And I hope that you all have um, a wonderful sense of efficacy. That means that you um, have a growth mindset that understands that the energy you put into something directly impacts what you get out of it in return. And sometimes in life, we don't always find this to be true, but we really, really know that when it comes to learning something new, the time that you spend really makes a difference for um, how much you get out of that learning. And we hope that you will commit yourselves to spending enough time in your online school over the coming weeks and um, months and really appreciate those of you that do that consistently. We see it in your learning and appreciate that. Speaking of um, <laughs> looking ahead to the new year, just a reminder that our first semester coursework deadline for middle school and high school for grades 6 through 12 you should check your course announcements, but most likely the deadline for work for first semester for middle and high school will be January 20th, okay? Um, that's 14 days um, of school in January before that deadline, and anything is possible, right? So please make sure that if you are doing a bit of a last minute push to get your grades up and shiny where you want them to be, middle and high school students, um, that you keep an eye on that ticking clock for that, okay? Kindergarten through fifth grade families and students, your learning is more ongoing, right? We have a semester break that signifies halfway through um, the school year, but your learning isn't really impacted as much um, by that semester change as it is for middle and high school, where everybody gets a nice clean slate and the courses all start over with new content. It means your grades start over. We get the B section of different courses. And to that end, um, I invite you to do some reflection as our suggestion um, for the month of January. New year, are new habits needed? So just looking back over how your first semester has gone, do you feel like you made the most out of it? Um, are there some changes, some new habits that you might need to put into place? Uh, maybe to get better balance between schoolwork and other activities in your life? maybe to not put off assignments and really commit to your personal deadlines that you're setting for things or that learning coaches are setting for things or just getting back to that learning routine structure that maybe you had at the end of august and beginning of september but it kind of fell by the wayside um, as fall progressed now we're fully in winter and um, I just invite you to really think about that if you're getting the most out of your structure when it comes to learning inside of flex all right, and then our request, it's a communication request. Um, if you are having changes of any kind um, as the semester changes, sometimes student school plans change, sometimes addresses change, um, just make sure you're communicating those with us. Your homeroom teacher can help with that or I can help with that. For example, an address change does not become official with WAVA if you have changed school district boundaries um, until you file that new choice transfer request form. So sometimes it's like, oh, I've changed my address, but I don't know why it's not showing in the system. Well, it might be that we need that new CTR form. So just keep the communication coming as things are going on in the month of January and beyond for you um, and let us know about changes that you are managing along with school. All right, so this is going to be the end of the portion for current Flex families, but I have had a request to add a little bit more information in about what Flex is for prospective families that might be thinking about joining Flex um, 
for this school year or for the coming school year of 23-24, which feels like a long ways away. Um, so what is Flex? If you have popped into this video because you were mostly curious about what Flex is, we are an alternative program inside of the standard WAVA program. We are for grades K through 12. And the way that Flex is different is primarily that we are mostly asynchronous. Work is done independently with online school as opposed to in live Class Connects with teachers. So we do not offer Class Connects for instruction, nor do we offer recordings of Class Connects for instruction. So it's really important that learning coaches understand what you're getting into in terms of supporting your students with learning. We do have teachers and the teachers work with students um, in help sessions and open office hours and also hold monthly conferences individually one-to-one -one with all students regardless of grades. So um, I'll give you a link to get a little bit more information um, about Flex, but that's pretty much what we are in a nutshell. Um, so for the current 22-23 school year, we are at capacity at this point. We are keeping a wait list for second semester, which is the next entry point, um, the next on-ramp, if you will, where students can enter Flex. But in order for students to enter Flex, we would need students to exit Flex. That does happen from time to time when students make um, or families make the decision to return to the standard WAVA program because Flex is not meeting the learning needs. Um, sometimes we here at Flex make that determination because we feel that students need more direct instruction um, to support their learning. In all, the learning is the bottom line at WAVA. And so if we're not seeing um, learning as reflected in grades and progress through online school, then an off-ramp may be initiated. So um, if you are interested in getting onto that wait list, um, just so you know, the timeline, as I mentioned, um, is for second semester. That's where we're at right now because that's our next student start date. So WAVA has a variety of um, start dates throughout the school calendar. The next one is second semester, which begins January 30th. For grades K through seven, um, there tend to be more start dates throughout the school year. For nine through 12, of course, we have one right at the very beginning of the semester. We might have another one a couple of weeks into the second semester, but due to high school crediting, um, it's not possible for students to um, sort of change streams within WAVA and go from flex to standard unless there are some special extenuating circumstances. Um, and it's also not possible for new students to join WAVA um, during um, outside of those transfer start dates. Uh, eighth graders, it sort of depends on whether or not you're taking any high school courses. And so if an eighth grader is taking, for example, Algebra 1, then that start date would be aligned with the high school students. If not, then that would be aligned with elementary and middle school. So what about joining this waitlist and how to make that happen? There are really two steps to joining um, the waitlist. The first is viewing a video, which tells you all about Flex. It's a recording of an information session from last spring. And then the second is scheduling a Flex phone call with me where we will talk through um, you know, what you're hoping to get out of Flex, why it's preferable to the standard WAVA model, and answer questions, right? Get answers to your questions that you may have about Flex so that you can make the best determination for your students' learning needs and what is the best program. All right, so how might you get onto that, um, get to that video and get to the link to schedule a phone call with me? There is a URL here that you can pause the video and um, type or scribble down. Um, but you also could just go to the WAVA bulletin board, then go to our school, and then Flex. Okay, and then that will get you there. There's also more information right there um, on that page about what Flex is and how it works. But really, the phone call is really a great time to get some clarity about what's coming. And then, of course, for the coming school year, 2022, 324, um, we will um, in the spring um, have phone calls scheduled for new families that would like to opt into Flex. Um, thank you so much for taking time to view our January 2023 video newsletter. And my contact information is right down there at the bottom of the screen. If you have questions, please do reach out. And I look forward um, to speaking with you if you decide that you want to get onto that Flex waitlist. 
Flex families, if you're still here with us, um, keep the communication lines open and uh, happy new year to everybody.